Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Cassandra Smith from CRM Dynamics and I am going to be presenting with Annie from Click Dimensions. Uh, and today we are going to present our Lead to Loyalty webinar. Uh, and we're going to be discussing using marketing automation for success throughout the buying cycle. So I'll tell you a bit about myself. My name is Cassandra Smith. I am a B2B marketer with a specialty, uh, with an email marketing specialty and passion. Um, I've worked with large companies like Remax. Uh, so if you've ever seen Remax.ca, that's uh, something I literally had my hands in and was very passionate about. Um, and I also did the emails for them. So I am a super experienced email marketer. Um, and working with CRM Dynamics has helped me build on my on build on that experience. Uh, and bring in the power of CRM. And it seems totally cliche, but I really believe in what I do here. And we implemented we implement many of the practices that we're going to discuss today. Uh, so today we're going to talk about how marketing tools can help your business and attract leads and convert them into loyal customers. Uh, there are many ways of doing this, and one way is to engage them by using campaign automation or marketing nurture. It's automated to make things easier for you and help ensure that you will never lose another lead. So what is the number one goal of using marketing tools for your business? Most of you will probably say that it will help you get more brand awareness or show people what you can do. Many marketers are starting to see the lines between sales and marketing blur. We believe that at Serum Dynamics, we're not, we believe that at CRM Dynamics, and we're not the only business thinking like that. Digital market, marketing is acting as a lead generation for many sales departments, and it's becoming more apparent that marketing needs to learn more about sales, and sales needs to learn more about marketing. Those two teams and those two departments need to be working closer and closer, to, closer, and closer together as we head forward into this very digital, uh, digital time for us. So one thing that our sales department here always says is that there's three compelling facts about the buyer today, the buying process today, and how it's changed. Uh, the first is the buying process has changed. Many buyers have already checked you out online in blogs or other places before they reach out to you. Now, think to yourself, what was the last thing that you bought or you were considering buying? and what you did before you even reached out, before you even went online and asked somebody a question. Chances are you probably sat on Google, you looked at a couple things, you compared prices. That's how your buyers are looking at your business and what you're offering, the services that you're offering or the product that you have. So that's something that we need to keep in mind. Uh, fact number two is that 50% of leads are mismanaged. This here is for the salespeople in the room. Marketers, you've done your job, but sales is failing. Without a good system in place where sales and marketing work together, leads don't become loyal customers or customers at all. Lead nurtures help drive more sales with less cost. With marketing automation tools, you can create things that help automate tasks like email sending or automatic follow-ups. We use one here at Serum Dynamics, and it's proven to be incredibly successful. It's something that I've championed myself, and even in the case where people are like, oh, I'm not going to send them a follow-up email because uh, it may be perceived as annoying, we actually see a higher success rate on the second time that we've reached out to somebody versus the first one, which is completely backwards to most people's thinking. But it's something that you guys need to explore if you're interested in implementing this kind of tool. So let's dig a little deeper into fact one. Buyers are almost ready to buy when they reach out to you. Just like I said before, if you're going online and you're buying something, especially a big purchase like a car or anything like that, you're really going to do your research before you even step into, let's say, a dealership. When your sales team isn't responding quickly enough or with the right information to those leads, they're going to be failing your leads. They're not getting what they need and they're likely to look, look to another company or to somebody else who has the right information. So there you're, you're at risk of losing those leads. So uh, this is something uh, my boss here at CRM Dynamics really, really drilled into my brain. Um, sales and marketing need to work together. So there's myself and there's our VP of sales, Rob Triggs. And he says that 
Uh, sales and marketing are like a volleyball team. So one person serves the ball and the other one goes to spike it for a point. There has to be communication between these two teammates. Without this communication, there isn't a solid con connection when the serve is made. To score that point, sales needs to be there at exactly the right time. So these two teammates, these two people, they need to work together. <laughs> they can't be going off on their own, otherwise they'll never be able to make the sales and make the goals that they need to be successful. So fact number two, 50% of leads are mismanaged. The fact is we've all been one of those leads. We've all been in mismanaged at some point in our buying, uh, buying careers, so to speak. Uh, so think about the last time you were making a big purchase, let's say a car or windows for your home. It's a big decision. And if the salesperson doesn't handle the lead well, they won't get the sale. I myself went to go and look at buying a car the other day and I was mismanaged. Uh, it was just the way that I, the process was handled and I won't buy a car from that company. So one thing we've done here at CRM Dynamics, we've tested 1,800 companies. Uh, this is our own independent study. So it may shock you, but 54% of those companies never responded to a lead that came from their website. So that's amazing. That's a huge chunk of that of that those number of companies. That's a legitimate lead that came through the website and nobody followed up on. So 75% of those people who did respond took more than an hour to respond. And it might seem kind of silly, oh, it's just an hour, but it's actually a significant amount of time, especially when the internet works so fast. When you get when somebody gets back to you quickly, chances are you're gonna buy from them. So 82% never made a second attempt to inquire uh, if, if we were interested in buying from them. So back to my point, at the beginning where I mentioned in our marketing nurture here at CRM Dynamics, we send multiple, 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 multiple emails and we actually find a better success rate on the second attempt than we do the first. So that 82%, those people are missing out. So on average, it took four days for any one of those 1,800 companies to respond. So by that time, somebody's already looked at other websites, other companies, and they're definitely losing out. And it's, they're using poor tools and poor processes to support their sales team. So again, sales and marketing aren't working together efficiently. So companies that excel at lead nurturing generate 50% more sales ready leads at 33% lower cost. This is where the kind of nuts and bolts of Click Dimensions comes in. When you're using marketing nurture, when you're using campaign automation, when you're using email marketing, you're getting more bang for your buck. You don't have to hire that extra salesperson. You're going to get more legitimate, great leads by using a really smart lead nurturing, uh, lead nurture. So, let me give you an example of actually a personal story. This is actually my home. Um, I almost did not buy this home because I thought it was so ugly. I'm not a fan of the colors. And when we moved in, I said to my husband, I said, can we please paint this house? So I took him online and we did some searching and there's a company that they will come and they will spray paint the house uh, with some fancy spray paint. So I reached out to them. Oh, I reached out to them. They called me back within a day, which was okay. Um, that, that's totally acceptable. They made an appointment uh, to come out. They did a quote. And after they handed me the quote, that was it. To this day, I have never heard back from that company. They didn't take my email. They didn't take anything. I never had a phone call back. They could have lost, they could have lost a sale. There's an opportunity there for them to call me up and say, hey, you know what, we're running a special today on this. Do you want to book an appointment, our spring special? We're going to book before before winter ends and then we'll come right at this when spring starts. They've never emailed me. They are losing money by not being great at following up on leads and using that email marketing nurture. Now, that being said, let's flip over to Annie and see what she has to say specifically about Quick Dimensions.
Thanks, Cassandra. Hi, everyone. Um, quick sound check. Can you hear me okay, Cassandra? Yes, I can hear you, Annie. Right, good. Okay, perfect. I always like to make sure. Um, <laughs> well, thanks, everyone, for joining today. I'm um, happy to show you and talk to you a little bit more about Click Dimensions and how we take leads to loyalty. How are we bringing them from just, just starting to look at us all the way to loyal customers and ones that we are retaining and maybe cross-selling to as well. And so that's what I'll be discussing today. We'll be going through the buying cycle and different features of Click Dimensions that you can use with that. So we'll do a quick introduction of Click Dimensions. I'll talk about what marketing automation is, why you might use marketing automation, who uses it, and then we'll take a closer look at that buying cycle followed by a demo of Click Dimensions within the dynamic CRM environment. So a little bit more about Click Dimensions to get started. Click Dimensions is marketing automation built natively into Microsoft Dynamics 365 or Dynamics CRM. It's a very easy to use marketing solution. If you're using Dynamics CRM today, it'll be very familiar because it's native inside Dynamics. You access all of your features, all of your marketing automation features will be right within the Dynamics environment. We're built on Microsoft Azure, providing fast deployment and secure data. And we're experts in training and support. So Click Dimensions provides training and support to every customer. We can do personal assistance, live recorded training, and we have our help sites available as well. So that brings us into what is marketing automation? So marketing automation features can vary by platform. There's a number of platforms out there. Um, what you'll see different about Click Dimensions is we are native to Dynamics CRM or Dynamics 365, but these are some of the common features you'll see. So with Click Dimensions email marketing, you'll be able to create and send email templates to your accounts, leads, and contacts, and track that data back to their records within the Dynamics CRM environment. You'll also be able to track their web intelligence, so you'll be able to see how long they're on the site and what pages they're going to, and those come back into a lead score. We also have campaign automation, the ability to do text messaging, reporting right within your Dynamics environment. Form surveys and landing pages are available as well. We have social discovery that comes in at the contact level and will show you what social sites they're on based on the email address they've provided. And we provide event management with connectors to Eventbrite, WebEx, GoToWebinar, and Cvent. And as I mentioned before, training and support is included with Click Dimensions as well. In my role at Click Dimensions, I encounter quite a few different myths about marketing automation. And number one is, is the one I hear all the time. Market automation is the same as email marketing. They think, well, we send a monthly newsletter, we're keeping in touch. Email is a very important component, but there's a lot of automation features that can take you beyond that. You can use forms to see what they're interested in. You can um, set tasks for people within your organization to follow up with them so they're following up within a certain amount of time. Maybe a house painting company that would call back within two days if they haven't heard back on a quote, for example. And so you can certainly use email for that, but there's also other things you can use within marketing automation. Myth number two is that marketing automation is impersonal. Marketing automation is great for personalized communications and experiences because we can use things that are already in the dynamic CRM to personalize the emails, to personalize that communication. Hello, first name. We can bring that into the emails. We can bring things from their contact records into the emails as well, making it a personalized email based on what they're interested in and bringing their name into it as well. Myth number three. Marketing automation is too complicated. A lot of people think that with all those features, there's going to be a lot of complication. Um, that, you know, we're not just doing emails. We have to bring in all this other stuff. And how do we bring all of that together? Modern marketing automation systems are easily used by business users. And so we have things like campaign automation that allows you to automate campaigns all the way through based on how your contacts are interacting keeping the information relevant to them. And we'll take a closer look at that shortly as well. So why marketing automation? Well, part of it is because the internet and social media have changed buyers' behaviors, which has in turn changed how companies market and sell. So with information so readily available, buyers are in more of a power position than they used to be. They expect more relevant, personalized, and timely communications from the brands they interact with. 
it takes an average of 10 marketing driven touches to, to progress from a lead to a sales opportunity. The sales cycle has increased by 22% and 79% of marketing leads never convert to sales because they're not properly followed up with. We're not using lead nurturing to catch up with them. Marketing automation technology also allows companies to meet those expectations by nurturing prospects until they're ready to buy, better engaging existing customers, and aligning sales and marketing so that they're working together to make sure those leads are nurtured and it goes to sale. All the while, they're steam streamlining those marketing processes and tasks for greater efficiency and increased revenue. So who uses marketing automation? I talked to a number of companies, um, more than just the industries listed here on, this, on the page, uh, but both B2B companies and B2C companies can benefit from this. B2B marketers can increase their sales pipeline by 10%, and B2C can see conversion rates as high as 50%. It can be a number of different sizes, from large companies to small companies. It just depends on the things that they would like to automate and the things that they would like to track and follow up with as well to keep in touch with those leads. So let's take a look at marketing automation through the buying cycle, through each one of these and how we can use automation to achieve the entire cycle. So from awareness to retention and loyalty, a marketing automation solution can help organizations with their sales, marketing, and customer retention initiatives throughout the buying cycle. We'll take a look at what's happening with the buyers at each stage of the cycle, some objectives for the organization, and ideas on how marketing automation can be used in each phase to make a big impact on your business. So with the awareness stage of the buying cycle, this is where we'll start, prospects are just becoming aware of a need, and they have and are unsure where to turn for a solution. During this phase, it's important for you to make buyers aware of your brand and stay on top of mind so your company is on the radar when they do decide to make a purchase. If you have their contact information, if they've opted in for your emails, keep in touch with them monthly. Talk about new features, talk about new products that might be available. Keep that awareness up so that when they are ready, we can move them on. This isn't the time for high pressure sales tactics. You just want to keep a conversation with them and keep them interested. Social media, online advertising, and your company's own website or other marketing channels can also attract the attention of new leads. Once you've attracted them, you need to capture their information so that you continue to follow up with them. If you don't already have it, try to get them to fill out a form via a landing page. Those are great tools for allowing prospects to provide their contact information and to opt in to receive your emails. Using click dimensions when someone submits a forms, they're also automatically entered into your Dynamics 365 or CRM as a new leader contact. You can then set ways to follow up with them very easily with a campaign automation. So once you have that information, you can add the prospects to a click dimensions campaign automation that provides more information about your company's products or services through videos, blog articles, brochures, or other kinds of introductory content. Keep that message in front of them. This helps ensure that the, your business is top of mind when they're getting ready to make that purchase. Research. So we'll jump into the next stage. You know, buyers today spend a lot of time doing research and typically spend the most time in this phase of the buying cycle. They might be looking at a number of different companies for a product. They might be looking at a number of different solutions for something that they're doing. And while they're shopping around and investigating potential solutions to their business problem, your company should be educating them on how your product or service can solve that problem. Individuals in the research phase often aren't ready to buy immediately. By using marketing automation, you can keep these leads warm while sales focuses on hotter leads. So you can continue to reach out to them, keep the information in front of them, letting your sales team do things with leads that maybe have already gone through this entire nurture campaign. Consider this example, campaign automation for a real estate brokerage. In this campaign, they're targeting people that they know aren't ready to buy a home right away, 
but they're nurturing them with the newest listings in their area, home buying tips, community info, and more. In a campaign in this phase of the buying cycle, you want to send email messages that educate the prospects on how your business can solve the problem they face. So by providing the information they need, your organization becomes a trusted advisor. You can also utilize dynamic content to insert information from a prospect's Dynamics 365 or CM record to create a customized email experience. So you'll see in the email on the left here, it says hi, contact, dot, first name. You'll be able to easily add the first names in there and pull them through into the email. And then we move into the evaluation stage. This is where the rubber meets the road. Individuals in this phase have narrowed down their choices to a few options and are evaluating possible vendors. At this point, businesses need to build credibility and trust with prospects while overcoming any objections. You need to answer a key question for them. Why should they go with your company over the competition? When they're evaluating, you need to just continue to build that trust and find ways to overcome those objections. The evaluation stage of the buying cycle is all about creating differentiators. You want to show why what your organization is offering is superior to your competitors. Case studies, demos, white papers, or customer testimonials are great for building credibility and making the case for your product or service. With marketing automation, you can accomplish these objectives with campaign automations or through once-off emails. Either way, in this critical time, you want to ensure your messages are being received, engaged, and opened with. Click Dimensions provides a number of reports for you as well, so that you can see your interaction rates. You can see any time they've clicked or opened an email. If they clicked on a link within an email, you'll be able to track that as well, all the way to the contact record. Marketing automation can also help you gather intelligence about your prospects as they visit your website so you can more easily determine their interests and more effectively market and sell to them. Using the web intelligence feature in Click Dimensions, organizations can see right within a CRM record every page a prospect has viewed on their website, help them more effectively target these individuals and better understand the journey from lead to customer. This is great for sales teams too. When they get to the point where they want to start reaching out to these leads that are evaluating or getting ready to purchase, they'll be able to see the pages they were on. They'll be able to see how long they were on each page and what they're looking for. So if they're going to give them a call that day, they'll be able to know what that conversation might look like. And that brings us into the purchase phase. During the purchase phase of the buying cycle, prospects become customers. It's your mission to help them make that final decision. Buying incentives like trials or coupons can help here. And then provide service after the sale, ensuring customers have a successful start with your organization. A great way to do that is with onboarding campaigns. They're very common in the phase of the buying cycle and can positively impact the customer experience. For this example campaign, we see how a financial institution might onboard a customer, starting with that welcome email, verifying the customer has received their debit card. This type of campaign can also help organizations discover which new customers need additional personal attention based on their interaction with messages. Maybe they're not responding at all. Maybe they didn't get their debit card. It allows you to follow up with them, and you can assign them to a Dynamics 365 user to specifically follow up with them and set a task for that user to do so with our campaign automation. The subscription management feature within Click Dimensions can also help make a good first impression and increase new customer satisfaction. This will allow customers to select the types of communications they want to receive from your business. It improves the customer's experience and helps reduce the global unsubscribes from your organization because then they can decide exactly what they'd like to get. Maybe they don't want things monthly. They just want to know about events and announcements. They'll be able to choose that, and you'll be able to set all this up within your Dynamics CRM and Click Dimensions. And keep in mind, marketing automation isn't just for marketing. While it's traditionally thought of as a tool for lead nurturing and generation, 
It can be equally as effective when used in the retention loyalty phase of the buying cycle. This stage is really about keeping your customers happy and engaged and continuing to keep them loyal to your brand. After all the hard work that it takes to earn a customer's business, customer retention campaigns can help ensure that you can keep it as well. A marketing automation system like Click Dimensions can help create all of the elements of your campaign, from campaign automation to emails, forms, and so on. And in Click Dimensions, all of the marketing activity is linked to a CRM campaign record, allowing you to easily measure the success of your efforts. Surveys are another marketing automation feature that can be tied in with a campaign or used on their own within the retention loyalty phase of the buying cycle. To get to know customers' interests better, gauge your level of satisfaction with your organization. With Click Dimensions, when a customer completes the survey, all of the responses are also linked to the record in Dynamics 365 or CRM so that you could easily know who you might need to follow up with. Set a task for someone within your organization to follow up with anyone who has a negative response and the ones that have a positive response so you know that you're keeping in front of your current customers as well as your leads. So some final thoughts here before we take a look at the Click Dimensions demo. The relationship between customers and businesses has changed dramatically in recent years, which has in turn shaped the roles and responsibilities of the sales and marketing and the connection between the two. As the sales and marketing landscape continues to change, marketing automation becomes less of an if and more of a when. With a comprehensive suite of features that benefit organizations as a whole, a marketing automation solution is an essential tool for attracting and nurturing leads and customers for greater revenue generation and business success both now and in the future. So let's take a look at some of these in action. And we'll start with email creation. When we're in Click Dimensions and Dynamic CRM, all of the features fall right within Dynamic CRM. And so we can easily access anything we're doing with Click Dimensions right from the marketing tab here. All of our analytics, we can see how they go through the phases. You know, how are they seeing the page views? How are they getting to the website? Are they completing forms and surveys? You can see everything to do with your email marketing, mobile, and event management, as well as campaign automation. All the features are easy to use because they're within something that you may already be familiar with if you're using Dynamic CRM today. And it's very easy to create the emails. This is our drag and drop editor. So if you're creating an email, whether it's to have a monthly newsletter, or in this case, this one will become part of a campaign automation where we're reaching out to new leads and providing them with white papers, an area to download them so we can continue to collect their information and maybe have them added to another marketing list right within that form. But this also allows you to start with a number of layouts, easily add content to those layouts by just dragging and dropping it in, including social sharing and social links, and you have full control over the style of the email as well. What's nice about drag and drop, it's also automatically mobile responsive. We're also finding that a number of companies are opening things on mobile these days, a number of prospects, I should say. And this will allow them a clean experience when they do that. If your organization prefers something that is more HTML based, we also have an HTML editor and we can easily use personalization in both of them to keep the message personalized. I can bring in any field from the owner, lead, contact, or account record within my CRM environment, including that first name, click add, and no matter who I send this to, it's going to add their first name in there for me now. If you have something else on the contact record, like maybe you want to wish them a happy birthday or something like that, if their birthday is in their contact record, you can pull that through. You can send those emails out using Click Dimensions as well. So that's how we create the emails. And once we send them, Click Dimensions will create some out-of-the-box reports for you as well so that you can see, are these reaching my leads? Are these reaching my current 
um, customers. How are we getting information back? We can see all of the deliverability information with the interaction rates, clicks and opens, hard and soft bounces. It's all coming back to your CRM environment, so you can watch that lead go all the way to a loyal customer. We can even see the email clients that they're opening it on. Are we opening more on desktop versus mobile? We track conversions. After we've sent the email, how many of them visited your website from the email? How many of them submitted a form? You'll be able to see that within Click Dimensions and Dynamic CRM as well. We also provide a click report showing all of the links within the email and the unique and total clicks for each link. We have a list of all the recipients and their interactions with the emails. And we provide a click heat map, showing you where within the email the clicks are actually happening and associating a percentage next to each link. So you can see if your text versus image links are performing better. Maybe you want to change something up before the next monthly newsletter. This will give you the ability to see if that might be an idea. If you use the social sharing links, we'll also tell you who shared the email and where they shared it to. Keep in mind, these are just out-of-the-box statistics that Click Dimensions provides for you. You have full ability to see all of the email interactions, create your own custom dynamic CRM dashboards and reports from this data as well, because everything is coming back to your CRM environment. We're tracking the visits to your website. This is done much like you might set up a Google Analytics account where you're adding a tracking script to your website and all the data is coming back. With this, we're bringing it back to the lead and contact records. We're also tracking, on, tracking anonymous visitors. And we can see whether they came into your website from search engine, direct traffic, social, or email, so you know how they're getting there as well. This is great not only for marketing teams to see how people are performing on the website, how their pages are performing, but it's also great for sales teams to be able to see, okay, Lily was on this page for this long, I should give her a call today and check in, and things like that. Keep in mind, everything's also coming back to the contact record. We can see that I had a visit here of three pages yesterday. I completed a form on the website. I had a number of visits and emails associated to my profile page. You can also see my photo and a link to my LinkedIn based on the work email address I've provided and all the forms I filled out and information provided on each form. We'll provide that as well for you. All of these features can be pulled directly from the contact record or an overall report. Again, allowing you to see and watch that progress from lead to loyal customer. Are they completing surveys? Are they filling out forms? Are they interacting with your emails? Both sales and marketing will be able to see that because Click Dimensions is added to your Dynamics 365 as a whole. If you use forms with white papers, like we mentioned, kind of at that beginning of the process where we're getting more awareness and we want them to reach out and sign up for newsletters, you can do that with Click Dimensions forms right on your website. I've signed up for the newsletters here as well, and when I hit submit, all of that data is going to go back to my dynamic Sierra. So it'll post redirect me to the next page, and then I'll go under marketing and posted forms. And you'll see all the forms that have been filled out today, including the one I just completed. I'm on central time, so it's 10.37 here, but at 11.37, that's how quickly they'll come back so that you can easily follow up with these. But how do we follow up? My suggestion is campaign automation. This is my favorite feature in Click Dimensions. If you have someone submit a form, you can create a task immediately for someone to follow up within your organization anytime that form's submitted. You could even base it on, if they answered it in a specific way, who within your organization should get that task. Are they looking at product A or product B? We can break that out based on something on the contact record or an answer within that form. 
This allows you to get very specific with your follow-up and make sure that follow-up is happening in a timely manner so that you can continue to reach out to them and make them a loyal customer. There's a number of things that you can do with campaign automation, and I would never have time to cover them all. <laughs> but what we're doing here in this banking demo is we're getting those new checking account customers a welcome message. We want to see if they click to get a debit card. If they did, we're going to go in here, thank them for that, assign to the team that sets up the debit cards, and notify them that they need to get that set up for them. We're running all these notifications automatically, so marketing isn't have to reminding to isn't having to remind someone to do something. Campaign automation will do that for you. If they didn't click on it, let's try to get them to download our, our app and set up account alerts. Let's keep them loyal to us with all of the benefits that we have to provide with them being a customer, including those account alerts and online bill pay. We also want to see if they submitted a form for maybe a loan. We're doing cross-sell, upsell here as well. And then we can set a task for the credit team to follow up if they filled out that form. All at specific dates and times that you specify or when things are triggered. So this allows you to not only use this for lead nurturing, but all the way through to customer retention in many different ways. If you would like to see a full demo of Click Dimensions, I'm always happy to provide those as well. Those are just some of the top features that we talked a little bit about today, keeping in mind that, again, everything is right within your Dynamics 365 and Dynamics CRM environment, allowing you to take those prospects from leads to loyal customers and keeping them there. <laughs>